Hey guys, welcome to day number 73 of my self-connection experiment where I meditate every day for two hours and then shoot a daily video um, for you guys, for myself. I love shooting them. Well, <laughs> I love shooting them, but on days like today when I am really in deep in shadow integration and, and um you know, deep in these feelings of unworthiness and not good enough. The videos aren't as exciting. <laughs> but it's not as, a, as an exciting place to share from. Because my spiritual ego always has an agenda, right? And as long as I can see the agenda, I can be like, that's okay. But, you know, this <laughs> this journey is all about honesty and authenticity. And this that's what this shadow... This shadow there you go. That's what this channel is about, is just being like this open human laboratory of the spiritual experience, the spiritual evolution. And I want you guys to see everything. And through this 100 day journey, you've seen me at my highest and you've seen me go working through my shadow in front of you. And just like I said, like, and like how I was feeling so deeply in my May Ascension Energy Update video, like the polarities. I've been feeling the polarities so much and I'm, I'm rarely, this month especially, ever kind of in this neutral place. I'm always like super connected and tapped in or I'm really doing some deep work with like a deep layer of unworthiness or, or fear or whatever. And so yeah, I come to you guys today really in at conflict with myself really you know what i'm noticing today is the mind is not a great place to be <laughs> the mind space is really um just like in conflict um and what initially triggered all of this unworthiness up in me that i am now seeing and feeling and, and doing my best to lean into and not resist is I got invited to go on a radio show. Um, and at first I just dismissed the invite and just like literally just kind of ignored it. Like, eh, I don't really want to do that without even looking at the radio show, looking into it or listening to an episode or talking to the host, just meh. And then after a couple days, I kind of, something came to me like I should look at that. Like maybe this is my higher self or source guiding me to, towards this. Maybe this is a good opportunity. So I listened to the show, I talked to the host, and it just, there was so much resonance. So I decided to do this show. And I even told the host, like, I'm really nervous. I've never done anything like this. And she, of course, gave me so much encouragement. She, she said, that's even better. Because when we take action outside of our comfort zone, with no expectations, beautiful things can happen. And I was like, that, yeah, that's, I agree with that. <laughs> um, that's what I tell people. And I asked her, did you have something specific you wanted to, you know, interview me about? And she said, no, I just kind of let the universe guide me. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm going to have to do this show. And so I'm going to go on this radio show and I'm truthfully, there's this part of me that is, is just, you know, has this fear of not being good enough of why would they want me to go on the show? I can't, I can't provide enough value or something, you know, or I, I don't have the, the right things to say, whatever. And I'm sure you guys can all relate to this in your own life of how often the, your mind, your ego will resist your own expansion and how it will feed you lies about yourself or yeah lies about you that aren't true because i can see that it's a lie like of course i'm good enough of course i have a lot to offer of course it's going to be fun and of course i like it's going to be a great experience but it's so interesting how the mind is just will run amok with fear with the fear programs and when our unworthiness is getting the most, in, like my unworthiness, it started coming up when I accepted this radio interview. It was like, it really triggered like a deep layer of um, 
you know, self-doubt in me. That, and that, it's a beautiful thing because this radio opportunity is helping me heal. It's helping me see a part of me that needs love, that needs to be integrated. And so it brought it up last night. And usually when this happens, I would like really try to run from myself. I would try to escape myself. Whether that's, you know, where's my cell phone? Where's some food I want to emotionally eat? I need to watch something, anything. But this time, instead of running from myself, instead of trying to escape the feelings of unworthiness and lack and self-doubt that were surfacing very intensely, I decided to just turn off my cell phone. It was like 6 o'clock p.m. I just turned my cell phone off for the night. I decided not to indulge in eating. And I just really let myself be with those feelings all night until I went to bed. And I just... There's one thing that meditating has really done for me. You know, meditating every day for two hours. It's like it doesn't take away the... You don't just transcend healing. You don't just transcend ever having feelings of unworthiness or lack or doubt. But what you do transcend to a degree so far is saying, is automatically going into identification with those feelings. And to just, you see them as aspects of yourself that just want to come home to, to love. When we have unworthiness, this is a part of us that needs to be loved. And there's something I want to share about addiction. And when we try to escape our unworthiness um, or run from it, that really helped me. Say you are feeling overwhelming amounts of self-doubt and unworthiness and you just don't feel safe enough to feel those feelings. It's normal. Everyone's been through this. What what to do is when you do reach for whatever it is, the food, the phone, the validation, the cigarettes, it used to be cigarettes for me, maybe it's alcohol for you, whatever it is for you. When you reach for that cigarette, we'll just use a cigarette as an example. When you are just feeling so shitty about yourself that you really just can't sit with the pain because it's just too overwhelming and you just need a cigarette to soothe. Instead of when you reach for the cigarette, saying to yourself, oh, I'm such a horrible person, this is such a bad habit, this is awful, etc. Instead of being in conflict with yourself, reach for the cigarette and say, I love you. Tell the pattern within you that feels like it needs the cigarette to feel safe. Tell that pattern, I love you. Tell that pattern, I know you need this cigarette to feel safe right now, and that's okay. You know, and really soothe this pattern that needs to reach for the cigarette, that needs to reach for the phone, the junk food, you know, whatever. And what you'll notice is, because you're soothing this pattern, as it's reaching for the cigarette, even as you're smoking the cigarette, telling this pattern, I love you, yes, I still love you, even though you need this cigarette to feel safe right now, I still love you so deeply. And it's okay that you need this cigarette. What you're doing is you're soothing this pattern. And here's the beautiful thing about this. And you're sending this pattern love. Here's the beautiful thing. The only reason this pattern is reaching for the cigarette in the first place is because it thinks it needs to find its love and its safety outside of you, outside of itself, you see? So when you are soothing and loving this pattern, even while indulging in addictive behavior, or a bad habit, or needy behavior, or codependent behavior, like you're sitting and you're texting someone you know you shouldn't be texting just because you need the validation from them. Even as you're writing that text, if you can have the awareness to say, I love you, I know you're just looking for this person's validation because you want to feel safe right now, it's okay that you're sending this text, this needy text, I still love you. 
If you can do that instead of hating yourself while you do it, if you can smoke the cigarette with love and sending soothing energy to this pattern instead of hating yourself for it, what you're doing is you're retraining. You're like, you're re-educating this pattern. Now this pattern is starting to learn that it doesn't need to go outside of itself to find love, to find safety, because you're, you're loving and soothing this pattern. So very quickly you'll notice that addiction, that needy behavior, starts to fall away. And that pattern that needed it to feel safe and loved starts to come back home. And this is how we come back into wholeness. This is, we're already whole, of course. This is how we re-educate those parts of us that feel fragmented, that feel that they need the external validation to, to be whole. And that is something that meditation has taught me, is to be able to just hold space lovingly for when I am consciously acting unconscious. <laughs> We all do it, right? And if we can bring that compassion to ourselves, even when we're in the middle of what we perceive as an unconscious, maybe addictive behavior, or indulging in a bad habit, or codependent and needy behavior, if we can really bring that patience and that compassion, you'll notice this pattern starts to come home because it doesn't feel the conflicting energy within. Because when we're, when we're hating this pattern, when we're hating this addiction, our needy behaviors, we're really just pushing it away more. And then it thinks it needs it even more, right? And that's why addictions keep going on and on and on. Until the addiction becomes more painful, you know, than the pain we have to face to not indulge in the addiction. And that's always a sign like, now this pattern is really ready to come home. But a way to just work through this before it has to get to that point is to just, yeah, love those patterns even as they're indulging. And so meditation, I guess going back to what I was saying, I kind of went on a tangent there. Um, meditation is teaching me um, that, yeah, these patterns are still here, but I can really just, if I can just find a, a home in the heart through this, then what you'll notice is if you can feel your unworthiness and your lack and any self-doubt that's arising, if you can feel that through your heart, that's when magic can really happen. That's when this magical transmutation from unworthiness to self-love can happen. A lot of times we get stuck in unworthiness. I'm just speaking for myself here. A lot of times I get stuck in unworthiness when I'm stuck trying to figure it out in the head or when I'm trying to convince myself I'm worthy, right? But when I just drop into the heart and feel the unworthiness from there, that's the movement. That's, that's the place to be, you know, with the heart. And that's what happened in my meditation this morning. You know, I said, I, uh, like I said, I sat with these feelings of unworthiness all night last night, just giving them compassion, just being open to them, feeling them, seeing them. And the unworthiness, um, the feelings stayed through the night. Um, they were there with me in the morning, still needed to be seen for longer, still needed to be shown to source for longer. And so I was showing them to source, and I was just wondering, what's, why are these hanging on so deeply? What's going on here? And then it hit me. Oh, I've been in the headspace this whole time. And I finally put my hands on my heart, <laughs> fell into my heart, and I felt these, I felt these energies starting to transmute. And I felt this feeling of, you are good enough. You are good enough to go on this radio show. You are valuable enough. And so, yeah, and you know, that helped. And now I just feel like um, a lot of these times when I start a video in a shadow, by the end, I feel so much better <laughs> because I'm really working through this all with you guys in, in live time as I'm saying it. You know, I need to hear everything I'm saying. And a lot of times I'm really talking to myself. 
And as I'm talking to myself and working myself through my process, you know, we're all connected, right? So because I'm going through it, you're probably going through it, or some of you, and because some of you are going through it, of course I'm going through it, you know, we're all in this together. So yeah, I feel quite good now. Um, so yeah, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that if you were feeling unworthiness prior to this, I hope that now you're feeling a little bit more whole, a little bit more integrated. And if not, find that compassion for yourself for when you do run from your unworthiness, from when you do try to escape your feelings of lack and doubt. And as you find that compassion for yourself and that love for yourself, even when those old patterns of addiction and neediness are arising, you'll notice those patterns will come home and then you will find your home in the heart and that's when everything integrates. And that's when you feel more whole, more complete, more like worthy and more powerful than ever. And when that unworthiness, unworthiness gets the most intense, like it was getting for me today, almost all day, that's when it's about to fall away. That's when another layer is about to fall away. And then you're going to feel so much freedom and openness and connection to the truth of what you are, which is love, which is infinite, which is complete and whole. Day number 73. I love you all so much. Namaste.